This is my giant Bestem tea box trunk. It's uh, 20 by 16 by 11 inches high. And it's big enough to fit a couple of bags of groceries in there. And I'm going to be showing you how to do the wiring for the LED on the back. So it'll be wired as a running light and also a brake light. Useful tools, scissors, needle nose pliers, multi-tool, and a wire crimper. These are going to be wired into the scooter wiring right next to the, the brake light. And at the other end, these are going to have, one's going to have a bullet connector and the other two, the blue ones, are going to be wired into the dual element splitter. The blue and black wire is actually coded to be brown. So it'll be connected to the brown wire. And here's the dual element splitter. After a little heat gun action. Red goes to brown and brown from the Bestem trunk is marked with the black on the uh, contact. Blue marked on the contact is the blue wire which is the negative wire. Brown is positive. Now to test the result, I'm going to connect the negative terminal to the ground. I'm using four AA batteries in series, so I'm getting 4.8 volts, which should be enough to light the LEDs. So. and positive to the running light. There we go. Let's try the brake light. And it works too. This is not pretty and I gotta figure out a solution to bundle this together somehow. These are the bullet connectors so I can detach the trunk if I need to. There they are detached. A little more heat gun action. And I've labeled the two bullet connectors. Maybe not the most elegant solution, but I'm gonna use zip ties. feeling for the dual element splitter so I don't damage that.
All good. Ready to wire it up to the scooter.